Isang gabi, isang gabing madilim. May isang pamilyang naputulan. Naputulan ng ano? Roberto! Bakit na naman? Naputulan na naman tayo ng kuryente hindi ka na naman nagbabayad sa Meralco? Anong gagawin mo? Magbayad ka na! Oo na, ito na nga eh! Like, mommy, why it's so like dark in here? It's like, ew, I can't see. Don't we have a generator? Eh di ate, gumamit na lang tayo ng kandila, di ba? Ano ba yan? Sabi sa school, marami daw potential energy ang Pilipinas. Bakit din natin ginagamit? Ano ba yan na po? Nangyengelam ka na naman. Nakita mo ba yung postiso ko? Solar energy is better for the environment than traditional forms of energy. It has many uses such as electricity production and heating of water through photovoltaic cells and directly for drying clothes. It is becoming more and more popular that the worldwide demand for solar energy is currently greater than the supply. Why use solar energy? Using the solar energy helps us save money because after the initial investment has been recovered, the energy from the sun is practically free. It is also environmental friendly since it is, since it is clean, renewable, and sustainable. It is a semi-independent since it can operate independently, not requiring a connection to a power or gas grid at all. Systems can therefore be installed in the remote areas making it practical and cost-effective. It is also low or no maintenance because they are virtually free and last for decades. With these advantages, there are also disadvantages of using the solar energy. The cost of solar energy is also high compared to non-renewable utility supplied electricity. As energy shortages are becoming more common, solar energy is becoming more price competitive. Its efficiency also relies on the location of the sun, although this problem can, can be overcome with the installation of certain components. In July 1995, the Batanes Development Foundation Incorporation decided to start a battery changing station for household use and refrigeration of fish using the solar energy. Access to power has limited economic growth possibilities in the islands. The high cost of power generation and grid extension as well as the isolation of the Batanes Islands make renewable energy a competitive option. With the help of this project, their greenhouse emissions had decreased and their income had increased due to the installed refrigerators. This illustrates the possible use of community solar batteries charging stations as an energy solution. This would help the remote areas in the country who are experiencing difficulties in their everyday use of energy. Hydroelectricity is electricity generated by hydropower or the production of power through the use of force of flowing water. Rich in water forms, there are a handful of hydroelectric power plants in the Philippines dispersedly located in the various areas in the countryside of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Some of which are Magat Power Plant in Isabela, Angat in Bulacan, and Agus 6 in Iligan City, powered by the famous Maria Cristina Falls. Almost all of the large hydroelectric plants, which range from over 50 megawatts, are connected to the main transmission grid, while most of small and mini hydro plants, which ranges from over 10 megawatts, to 101 kilowatts are embedded to the local distribution system. But how does this work? Now 
without giving me some of your loving it makes me la me lupa eterno eterno my name sing out sa lupa geothermal power extracted from heat stored in the earth Next to the United States, the Philippines is the second largest producer of geothermal power in the world. The country has yet to take off in terms of development of non-power applications of geothermal energy resources, mainly resulting from a lack of financing and public awareness. People have yet to realize the benefits of using geothermal heat, especially in terms of time saved in drying, owing to its high temperature and non-seasonality non compared to sunlight. Some examples of operating geothermal plant in the Philippines are Bacon Manito in Sarsagon, Leyte Geothermal Power Plant in Leyte, and Makiling Banahaw Geothermal Power Plant in Laguna. Advantages of Geothermal Energy One of the greatest advantages of geothermal energy is the fact that there is no pollution being created. With added interest in limiting carbon emissions, geothermal power plants offer a viable solution. Another advantage is that it uses no fuel to generate electricity. The process uses cold water that it pumps into the ground. This makes geothermal energy fuel efficient and a low-cost alternative relative to other power sources. The downside or technology only makes geothermal energy available from certain regions on the planet. Initial drilling costs are expensive and the process is complex. Although the Earth's heat is ever-present, Current or future geothermal sites may not be continuous sources of heat. While some consider geothermal energy the most cost-efficient and non-polluting, there is a, as yet no guarantee that possible sites will provide desired quantities. <laughs>